I want you to watch something that seems to show some police brutality. It also seems to show some decept deceptiveness, if not some downright lying. And it, it also seems to even suggest that there may be a cover-up going on. And when we see these things, we want to point them out to you. Let me take you back to when this happened, all right? I'm going to do the setup, and then I'm going to let, let you watch a tape. It happened March 3rd. This is in College Park, Maryland. Maryland has just played Duke. Duke, as you know now, is the best team in the country in college basketball. And Maryland beats them, by golly. And the students are crazy happy that they've beaten the best team in the land. So they go out and they start celebrating and partying, as college kids are known to do. Then the police show up. Wait till you see what was caught on tape. Roll it, Raj. On the video, University of Maryland student John McKenna first appears skipping down the sidewalk next to Knox Road. He is singing a cheer, celebrating Maryland's basketball win over Duke, when he comes face to face with a park police mounted officer. He stops dead in his tracks and actually backs up. Watch carefully what happens now, as he is slammed into the wall, knocked unconscious, and then beaten more than a dozen times by Prince George's County police officers. Kenna's lawyers say there is only one way to characterize what happened. This is police brutality, pure and simple. And Griffith says the actual beating is only half the story. This is the sworn statement of charges against McKenna by the police. It alleges assault on a police officer and disorderly conduct. It claims that McKenna quote, struck those officers and their horses causing minor injuries and that McKenna was quote, kicked by the horses and sustained minor injuries. Clearly the charging document is a lie. As you can see from the tape, there's not a single fact in that statement of charges that's true. We showed the video and charging document to Prince George's County Police Major Andy Ellis today. He says the police internal affairs office will begin an immediate investigation. There are things in that video that concern me, Brad, and, um, and we're going to take a look at it. Federal investigators will also be looking at the tape to determine if civil rights violations occurred. The county prosecutors may now pursue assault charges. And the officers involved are identified. Th th this is unbelievable. That was Brad Bell from our affiliate WJLA. He's uh, uh, joining me now from New York is uh, retired Nassau County police officer Lou Palumbo. Uh, he's with the elite group, LTD. Um, Lou, I don't even know what to say after watching that, because aside from the fact that it appears that the police officers may very well be wrong, their story about what they say happened seems to make it doubly wrong, does it not? Yeah, I think um, what we learn in life, it's never the crime, it's the cover-up. And I think they obviously were unaware that they were being videotaped. There, there isn't any question, Rick, and normally right, look, I would not we're, go we're, out on the limb with we're looking at the video here. This is where police officers say he struck them. Does it look to you like he struck them or did something to that horse? Uh, Rick, I'm going to surmise this whole thing for you, that you're going to see arrests of these police officers, criminal prosecutions, lawsuits, and you may have the FBI involved in investigating this under what we would call color of authority. There, there is nothing in that young man's actions that should have precipitated this type of encounter with this law enforcement agency. Well, here's what they've told us, and we have been calling them all day today. They have uh, released a statement now essentially saying that, in fact, they will drop the charges against this young man and that at least one officer has been suspended and that two others will possibly be suspended when we asked if charges are going to be filed, they said, no, we're only looking at suspensions at this point. When we asked if they would suspend, we'd be suspended with pay or without pay, they said, with pay. I don't know about you, but I think people listening to what I just said would be appalled. Well, what, what they're doing here, Rick, is that they're taking a bad situation and making it worse. Because just as you and I are reviewing this tape, so is the FBI. That's all I'm going to say to you. And one of the things you cannot do is lie during an investigation, and they've already started to do that. So you're going to see basically these officers terminated, criminally charged, uh, the parents of this poor young man suing this police department. And, um, you know, it's just a black but, eye and an embarrassment to law enforcement but, because but, but, this Lou, is an anomaly, but, but, fortunately. But, 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 but Lou, you're, you're a cop. You've got experience with this. When are they going to learn? Why is it taking so long? People right now watching this tape, I guarantee you, 
are wanting these guys to be in jail, and yet they're not even naming the names of the police officers. They said there's one suspended, two others maybe, and they're not quite sure who they are. You know they know who they are. Rick, all I'm going to tell you is that at times the wheels of justice turn slow, okay. but they turn. And I will tell you flat out and unequivocally, you're going to see loss of employment. You may see the removal of the head of this agency. You have to understand the condition that exists in all, all, all walks of life, whether it's journalism, law enforcement, Wall Street. The fish thinks from the head down. Whatever is tolerated by the chief administrator of this law enforcement agency mm -hmm. is going to basically translate to his employment. And there's nothing that you can say that explains what went on here. And as we already have identified, they started the cover-up by, uh, how would you say, dissemination of inaccurate or untruthful information. And I'm embarrassed, having been a former law enforcement agent, to have to look at a tape of like this. I seldom do you see this, fortunately. Wow, strong words coming from you. Uh, listen, my thanks to you for your candor, and I should let you know, Lou, and maybe we'll, be, we'll get back in touch with you later. I know the president's going to be speaking, so we've got a lot of stuff to get on the show. But one of the uh, spokespersons, perhaps an officer from this department, that's Prince George's County, is going to be joining us here at the top of uh, the 4 o'clock show, so at about 40 minutes or so. We'll see what he says, and I might want to get back to you on this. You going to be available? Absolutely. All right. If nothing else, maybe we'll just get you on the horn. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot, Lou. We appreciate your time.